So hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of chemical engineering and industrial processes as we are exploring agitated tank crystallizer. Have you ever wondered how these perfectly formed crystals in products like sugar, pharmaceutical and even high tech materials are made? Well, you are about to find out in this video. In this video, we will take a closer look at the what is agitated tank crystallizer, how they work and where they find their essential application, its advantages and disadvantages. So let's get started. In the beginning of this video, we will understand what is agitated tank crystallizer. So agitated tank crystallizer are also known as stirred tank crystallizer or agitated batch crystallizer. This type is the most simplest and perhaps the most economical of all the crystallizers. Here supersaturation is achieved by cooling so it is also called as cooling crystallizer. There are several advantages of this type of crystallizer such as low initial cost, simple in construction and can be operated under various conditions that is it is flexible to use and that makes this crystallizer widely used in small scale production or even in batch processes. This type of crystallizers have high capacities even more than the tank crystallizer. So this was about a brief of what is agitated tank crystallizer. Now moving further in this video we will look about construction of ATC that is agitated tank crystallizer. So now here think of this ATC as a big cylinder with a mixture of stuff inside and there's a slow spinning thing called an agitator that stirs everything up which is like mixing a cake batter. There's also a coil that cools things down like how you cool a hot drink and at the bottom it is shaped like a ice cream cone and that's where the crystals you are making comes out. The agitator improves the heat transfer rate by keeping the temperature of the solution uniform and also keeps the fine crystals in a suspension which is essential for uniform crystal growth otherwise we can get large crystals or aggregates. So this is how agitated tank crystallizer looks like. Now moving on with the working of agitated tank crystallizer. Here we will discuss how agitated tank crystallizer works. So in the working first you need to kick start the crystal making process. You can do this by adding a tiny starter crystals or by making the liquid inside super cool or concentrated which is a process of inducing super saturation in the solution through cooling, evaporation or chemical reactions. So this process is known as nucleation. After nucleation comes agitation. The agitator inside the agitated tank crystallizer keeps everything normal. It's like stirring your soup so that nothing sticks to the bottom. This makes sure that all the crystals are grown evenly and not in big lumps. So the main primary concern of agitator is to have a uniform mixing and to prevent uneven formation of crystals. After agitation comes the controlled cooling or evaporation where you need to cool down the things or let some of the liquid disappear. This makes the stuff in the pot become concentrated which is perfect for making crystals. After controlled cooling or evaporation, now next is crystal growth. As you cool or evaporate, crystal starts to form and grow. The agitator keeps them separate and makes sure they don't clump together. So at this stage, the proper formation of crystals has been done and we have obtained our desired crystals after crystal growth stage. Now at the end comes separation stage. Once your crystals are just at the right size, you need to get them out. And this is like straining your pasta. And same is the case of crystallization where we can separate the solution and the crystals formed by filtration, centrifugation or by other separation techniques. And by doing these 5 steps which is nucleation, agitation, control cooling or evaporation, crystal growth and separation, you can obtain your desired shapes and size of crystals by using agitated tank crystallizer. Now next we will be discussing about its industrial applications. So agitated tank crystallizer plays a crucial role in various industries. 
where they are used to make things like sugar, salt and even the coca for your chocolate is been made with the help of crystallization process where they help to get the perfect taste and texture so one of its application is in food and beverage industries other than that it is also used in pharmaceutical industries where they start as a crystal in one form of the tanks to make sure that they are super pure and work the way they should so agitated tank crystallizer is used in many pharma companies worldwide to achieve the purity consistency of the required drug it is also used in various chemical industries some chemicals like fertilizer and fancy specialty stuff are made in crystals which is for easy handling and storing and this type of crystallizer make sure that they are just right then even things like tiny chips inside your gadgets or special chemicals which are used for electronics they start as a crystal with specific properties shape and size which can be easily obtained by agitated tank crystallizer so these were few of the applications of agitated tank crystallizer now moving further in this video we will look about advantages and disadvantages of agitated tank crystallizer where we will start with advantages of agitated tank crystallizer agitated tank crystallizer offers several advantages that makes them indispensable in various industries from which the first advantage is that high quality crystals in agitated tank crystallizer controlled agitation ensures uniform crystal growth for example in sugar industry agitated tank crystallizers are used to produce high quality sugar crystals with consistent shape and size which is very essential for product quality the next advantage is of customizable here adjusting the process parameters allows tailoring crystallization to specific needs in the chemical industry manufacturers use agitated tank crystallizer which is to produce different polymorphs of a compound by fine tuning the parameters like the temperature and the agitated speed so this is one of the most important advantages of agitated tank crystallizer up next is scalability these crystallizers can adapt for various production volumes in the food industries agitated tank crystallizers are employed to scale up the production of chocolate from small batches into artisanal shops to large scale manufacturing and the last advantage is is of reduced contamination risks the enclosed system here prevents cross contamination in pharmaceuticals agitated tank crystallizer maintain the purity of the drug which is very crucial for ensuring the safety and efficacy of the medications so these were the four main advantages of agitated tank crystallizer now comes the disadvantages and the limitation of agitated tank crystallizer as with any technology agitated tank crystallizer have their limitations from which the first is energy consumption continuous agitation consumes energy and for this instance in the production of specialty chemical the energy cost associated with agitated tank crystallizer can significantly impact the overall production cost which is one of the disadvantage The next disadvantage is about crystal size distribution which is achieving a narrow size distribution can be challenging in fertilizer industries variety in crystal size can affect the nutrient release rates of the final product and which leads to impacting its effectiveness The third disadvantage of agitated tank crystallizer is about scaling challenges Scaling up can introduce unexpected issues right In the petrochemical industries when transition from a small scale agitated tank crystallizer to a large one problems like inefficient mixing or heat transfer may arise which requires careful engineering solutions okay and the last disadvantage is about maintenance complexity which means regular maintenance is essential in the dairy industries agitated tank crystallizers which is used for milk powder production requires meticulous upkeep to prevent bacterial contamination and maintain product quality so this advantages and limitation illustrates the importance of careful consideration when choosing agitated tank crystallizer for specific application and the need for effective management to mitigate their drawbacks so guys that's all for this video where we discussed about introduction of agitated tank crystallizer followed by construction then it's working 
its application, advantages and disadvantages of agitated tank crystallizer. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more informative content related to chemical engineering, process engineering, chemical safety, industrial safety. And as always, feel free to leave any questions and comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.